What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Drop a bomb. I appreciate y'all, man. Rocking with me, man. Over 2,000 subscribers now on YouTube. I appreciate it. If you haven't, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Truck and Chubby, T R U C K I N C H U B B Z Y. Go ahead, subscribe for the boy, man. I'm trying to get to 3,000 on the road to 3,000 subscribers right now. Make sure y'all like, share my content. Please share it with your friends and your family. Um, maybe they'll like it. Even if you don't, I appreciate But I appreciate the support I'm getting from everybody out there. So I want to give y'all a round of applause for that. You know what I mean? Y'all deserve it. So I'm riding down the road today, right? And I'm listening to um, Undisputed. It was Keyshawn Johnson and it was Skip Bayless. And they were talking about Deion Sanders. Um coach prime i'm sorry excuse me i'm sorry for that coach prime going to the nfl and i mean the the portal is they always compare the college transfer portal to pro sports now the way that it is and and it is and it's so exciting the, the transfer portal is so exciting because now all these athletes get to pick where they want and it made it a lot it made it so exciting to me i don't know about to y'all um, so the first question I want to ask y'all to get down in the comments with the first question is, is the transfer portal free agency exciting to you? All right. Cause it is to me. All right. So I, I say yes to that one. Now I'm sitting and I'm, and I'm right. And I'm like, okay, so if, if coach prime went to the NFL, he would get all the best players, but I'm, but I'm totally uh, thinking about something way different everybody would want to a lot of people would want to play for coach prime in the nfl right same way they do in college well does a rookie in order to make a th get a 22 million dollar contract do they have to enter the nfl draft to in order to make that money or could they say I know my draft status. I know I can go in the top 10, but you know what? I don't want to go into the draft because I don't want this. I don't want to go to the team. So I'm going to sign the papers to go into the NFL, but I don't want to go into the draft. Now I know, and I'm saying, and I know y'all saying like, well, it goes again is it does and this is the second question i have for anybody because i'm i'm now this is the second question does that go against the nfl's cap rules you know what i mean like you have to go into the draft do you have to go into the draft and does it go against the nfl's cap rules okay i'm asking questions because I, I want some interaction so I'll ask some questions and so I got that I said okay so if a good player does not want to go to that team he technically doesn't have to because I mean when you look at some of these other rosters a lot of these undrafted rookie free agents are awesome they're some of the best players on the team on these teams huh? like I like Najee Harris as a person. I do. I like him as I like his heart. I like I like the way he balls. Um, after his injury, it just seems like he 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 lost something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And that's why I'm saying it's something. Because to me, Jalen Warren, our running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers, he runs so much harder. It's like he's more explosive. You know what I mean? Like I could be tripping, but to me, that's the and that's that. That could just be me. But it just seems that way. And he's an undrafted rookie free agent. This is what I'm saying to y'all. And when you're an undrafted rookie free agent, is there a cap to where the NFL can put on you? And if so. Just say I'm a first round draft pick, right? I don't want to go to the Panthers. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a running back. I know I'm a first round pick, but the Jaguars 
and uh, Travis Etienne, he needs we we gotta do this one two punch. We want to go to the Super Bowl, but he needs me to come relieve him. He's taking a lot of the punches. If I go there, I know it's a Super Bowl. If it, it, or are we making the playoffs or whatever. But this is where I want to go. I already got all these NIL deals from college, right? I can take the hundred thousand, whatever it is, or the six figure check, right? Get in the building and they renegotiate a contract. Cannot work because you can make contracts say anything, right? A contract's a piece of paper with letters with with, with stuff written on it, right? So correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Couldn't they be like, I right, I'm writing a contract to bring you on as an undrafted rookie free agent. But in this paperwork, after you sign me as a rookie free uh, undrafted rookie free agent to this team, you must meet this number with an immediate contract negotiation. Does it's never been done before? It's never been done before, but I can almost guarantee you if Coach Prime was in the NFL, something like this would be done. Something like this would be done. And 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 I'm just sitting there thinking and I'm saying, man, this this is it, it could happen. A lot of a lot of team a lot of team and this should happen. Yeah, yeah, it takes away the draft, y'all. But let's be honest. For me, after the third round of the draft, I'm like, I'm tired of what? It's too long. The draft is too long. And I, I congratulate everybody that makes it into the NFL. I really do. I honestly really do. But let's be real, y'all. Like Some of these guys who are drafted, especially nowadays, with the with the regimen, the, the way that they're training and everything, the way that you know the, the way that they're trained, everybody's on the same level, man. And there's a lot of gems out there, diamonds in the dirt that we're not seeing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's the truth. Dude. Like this is, follow me. And what if just like it'd take the draft away, but they just pay a pickup? Sorry, okay. This team goes first. Pick y'all seven who y'all want. They was in last. They were in last. If they get the so called best seven, they get the so called best seven. But that means that y'all would have to expand the combine. Expand the combine. Yes. That should be the multiple day event. That should be highlighted. All the colleges in the USA. All of them. Let's get all these athletes. Because I want to find the gems. And just go ahead. Pick your seven. Pick your seven out of all these kids. That you, that fits your scheme. Okay, now you go. That's a one day event. But then also... I don't want to go to this team, maybe. Maybe I don't want to go to that team. I don't want to enter the pick. I don't want to enter the draft. It could work, couldn't it? It's crazy, but it could work, right? And before I get out of here, because I just wanted to make a quick 10-minute video for y'all. Think about this. And I don't know how y'all feel about it. But shouldn't every semi-pro college pro team have domes i know it takes away the elements of football but listen y'all some fans is gonna leave the games which mess with revenue if your team's good and there's and every all the fans are dedicated we're dedicated fans get domes get domes because there's that's this is the reason why a lot of players don't want to play for certain teams they're pros y'all they work so hard to get to where they're at Give them the luxury of being in a dome. I mean, every once in a while, if you want an outside game like they do the hockey games in the winter, go outside every once in a while. But get domes. Do you think we should have domes? Get down in the comments. 
Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for updates. Peace.